Hi, this is Howie. You might be saying to yourself right about now, Wow, he looks so much younger in that photo. And you're right. I was working in my first year ever as a teacher when this photo was taken, and we're going to go way back in time to that first week of school when I met one of my students' parents. This is a picture of my former student, Cammy, and I'll always remember the first time I met her mom. You see, she didn't seem too happy with me, and I didn't understand why. And then she explained. You make me feel old, she said. You're closer to my daughter's age than you are to mine. Huh, I had never thought about that. How could that be possible that I'm closer to her daughter's age than I am to hers? How old would each of us need to be for that to be the case? When this photo was taken, I was in my first year teaching, fresh out of college. I was 23 and one-third years old. And while I knew I was relatively young, I never viewed myself as having more in common with my third grade students than I would with their parents. I needed more information. I asked Cami, exactly how old are you? She knew her precise age. I'm eight and three quarters, she said. I was a little hesitant to ask Cammie's mom her age, but it is in the name of math after all. So I turned to her mom. Would you be willing to tell me your age? Sure, she said. I turned 39 exactly one month ago. So let me ask you, was it true that I was closer to Cammie's age than I was to her mom's age? If so, by how much was I closer to her age than I was to her mom's age? In order to figure out the differences in our ages, I first used subtraction. To calculate how much older I was than Cammie, I subtracted 8 and 3 quarters, also known as 8 and 3 fourths, from 23 and a third. Because they have different denominators, our first step is to find a common denominator. Using a strategy, I determined that a common denominator is 12. That makes sense because there are 12 months in a year. 23 and 4 twelfths minus 8 and 9 twelfths. I used a counting up strategy to find the difference. You may have decided to use subtraction with regrouping or creating a model to do the subtraction. I hope you have the opportunity to share your approach as well. Using the number line I created, I began at 8 and 9 twelfths and worked my way up to 23 and 4 twelfths. It takes 3 twelfths to get to 9. From 9 to 23, I needed to count up 14 and then I needed to count up four twelfths more to reach 23 and four twelfths. Bring it all together and the difference between 23 and four twelfths and eight and nine twelfths is 14 and seven twelfths. That means the difference between my age and Cammie's age was 14 and seven twelfths years. Now let's find the difference between my age and Cammie's mom's age. Cammie's mom turned 39 years old exactly one month ago. That means she is 39 years and one month old. To express that as a fraction, using only the unit years, we need to understand there are 12 months in a year. So her age is 39 and one twelfth years old. To find the difference in our ages, I can subtract 23 and 1 third from 39 and 1 twelfth. Once again, our first step is to find a common denominator. Perhaps you recognized that the common denominator could be 12. Just like in the previous subtraction problem, we could create three horizontal cuts that result in 12 equal parts. Four twelfths is a nickname of 1 third. 
Please note, if you created a subtraction problem and found that the common denominator was 36, you are also correct. It just might have been a bit more of a challenge to compare the age differences. Now to find the difference between the mom's age and my age. This time, I'm going to use subtraction with borrowing. I cannot do 1 12th minus 4 12th, so I'm going to borrow one whole from 39. That will leave me with 38. In this case, one whole is equal to 12 twelfths. So altogether, I now have 13 twelfths. 13 twelfths minus 4 twelfths is 9 twelfths. 8 minus 3 is 5. And 3 minus 2 is 1. That means Cammie's mom is 15 and 9 twelfths years older than I am. So yes, it was true. I was closer in age to Cammie than I was to her mom. To find out how much closer I was to Cammie's age, I can subtract 14 and 7 twelfths from 15 and 9 twelfths. That means I was closer to Cammie's age by one and two twelfths years, or one and one sixths years.